You're all invited to attend a wedding three weeks on Thursday. Well, who's getting married? I am. You saying you did me a favour with O'Kane? You don't think Atkins topped her, do you? If you are right about Mr Pierce, I am right. But then Miss Barker could be making a dreadful mistake. You just got this job. You don't want to be the first wing governor to end up on the other side of the bars. I'm not so sure this is such a good idea. All we're doing is giving that dozy cow a chance to change her mind. I didn't write this. Well, you are Barry Pierce. Yes, I am. But I didn't and write... And we had a call from Miss Barker confirming the cancellation. No. I don't know where the hell you're coming from. First you fit me up. And now you're saying let's get purpose. Do you want off this rap or not? Shut up! <laughs> Good weekend. You should just stand up. I, uh, I want to know what you thought about what I said to you. Why? You're going to tell them how Kane's book turned up in my cell? Look, wait. Come on, fella. Motive, opportunity, evidence. I'm still the bloody prime suspect. What have you got on Purvis? Nothing I can use. <sighs> Look, I'll, uh, I'll set her up for you. Keep a guard. Then you can beat the crap out of her till she squeals. Stick my neck out a little bit more, shall I? We've got to fix her. You withdraw your statement first. No strings. Then I'll think. He won't have left the butter up for their sandwiches, nor will he. Be rock hard. Roche. He'll have gone to school, won't he? Come on. I was only. You're not a mother. Right, you lot. Bags and bedding at the ready. Who's down for G Wink? I don't know, miss. No one's told us anything. Mouth shut, ears open. When you hear your names, come forward. Cassie Tyler. That's me. Roisin, Connor? It's Roisin, actually. Sorry. Any more? Yeah, there should be three. Oh, yeah. Uh, Daniela Blood. Blood? How's it going, miss? Do you miss me? Back in the door for you, Blood. Wicked, miss. Follow me, you two.
You'll soon find out how much I missed you. You'll wish you were as dead as Dockley. What are you doing, Wilson? You're supposed to be at work. This is for two people. Some Nick split up co-defendants. You're lucky. I've got a wardrobe bigger than this. Make your beds and get unpacked. Lunchtime's 11.30. Please, you've got to let me phone my husband. It's urgent. Oh, well, I've got things to sort out with my kids. You had your free call and reception, didn't you? No, told us they didn't have enough staff on. OK, do you want to make yours too? Give mine to her. Well, come on, men. Sorry we're late, but uh, had to go to the hospital. Let's get along. How'd you do that, then? Oh, she uh, caught it in the car door. Ouch. Ouch, and the rest, mate. I thought I'd heard language in the forces. So, did you manage to get it sorted out after what happened at the registry office? We'll we give you another date. Not yet. No, we didn't want to go on honeymoon with an injury, did we? No. Bye. Look, I've got to go. Hello, Miss Barker. So sorry to hear about the wedding. Mrs. Hollandby told us. Show back and all, is she? No, but they ain't found her body, so. Yeah, well, I pray she took a long time drowning and now she's burning in hell. Amen, sister. Look, she didn't know half what she was doing, man. She was speedballing off her face. And that's an excuse to go wrecking people's lives. She didn't kill no one, did she? Yeah, well, those lives ain't even started yet. She got herself up the pipe since, innit? What? So, like, you all know each other? Talk to you, Shaz. You feel good you cancelled my wedding, do you? And don't deny it, because I know you must have been in 